Colchicine PCI is the first trial to test the hypothesis that colchicine, an anti-inflammatory drug commonly used for the treatment of gout, might reduce vascular inflammation and myocardial injury following percutaneous coronary intervention. We received funding from the VA and the American Heart Association to conduct this investigator-initiated single-center, double-blind, randomized trial of 1.8 milligrams of colchicine versus matching placebo given one to two hours pre-procedure in 400 patients undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention. Our results showed that a single shot of pre-procedural colchicine did not reduce the event rates of PCI-related myocardial injury or 30-day major adverse cardiovascular events, but did reduce blood markers of vascular inflammation following PCI when compared to placebo. So we know that opening up a blockage in the coronary arteries with balloon and stents may cause vascular inflammation and myocardial injury. And we also know that reducing inflammation after a heart attack improves outcomes, but we do not have any currently available therapies that can rapidly reduce inflammation. Colchicine is an inexpensive yet potent anti-inflammatory agent. And as I mentioned earlier, it's long been used for the treatment of gout and other inflammatory conditions. And so it's tried and tested, and we know it has an excellent side effect safety profile. Our group previously showed that colchicine reduces the attachment of inflammatory cells to inflamed or ruptured endothelium and platelets, both of which are prevalent in the setting of acute coronary syndrome as well as PCI. Our results did not show, the colchicine study dose that we used in this trial, administered one to two hours pre-procedure, did not reduce event rates of PCI-related myocardial injury. However, we did show for the first time that colchicine could prevent the rise of vascular inflammation uh, during an acute injury. So more work is needed to determine the optimal dosing and timing of pre-procedural colchicine in patients who are undergoing PCI. In our study, we saw that colchicine attenuated markers of inflammation around 24 hours post-PCI. And so we do think that an earlier start of pre-procedural colchicine regimen does warrant further investigation. Additional studies such as Colcott and Clear Synergy may provide further insight into how daily colchicine after a heart attack may improve outcomes and may provide further guidance into terms of future investigations of the role of colchicine in patients undergoing PCI. I have, I've been working with Sanjeet Jolly, the, clear, the PI of the Clear Synergy trial, and I have NIH funding to obtain uh, blood samples from these participants to determine how, which patients may benefit from colchicine versus which patients may not benefit from colchicine after a heart attack, and hopefully take another step forward towards uh, in the field of precision medicine.